Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about Parseval theorem in discrete Fourier transform. Now already we have seen so many properties. Let's come across the relationship called as Parseval's relationship. Here, the statement will be the first statement will be same. If we have an input sequence x sub n whose discrete Fourier transform is x sub k, then the summation from 0 to n minus 1 mod x sub n square which simply shows us the relationship for energy and power signals. If I take its DFT, it will be 1 by n mod x sub k square. Now let us come across the proof. How we are actually going to prove this particular property. So for that case, I will take the reference as LHS which we have summation. This term will keep as it is mod x sub n square. Now, this term we can simplify in a moderate way. <coughs> How we can prove this one? This is mod square is given. So, I can split this term into two product terms and we can rewrite this is 0 to n minus 1 and this becomes x of n multiplied with x complex of n. Now, how actually we are getting this x of n into x complex of n? You can check out in the <coughs> few videos we already been discussed. Now, if it is here, just concentrate on the RHS. We need a term called as 1 by n. Now, in order to fetch 1 by n, we have another formula that is called as inverse discrete Fourier transform. So, I, uh, we can take either IDFT of x sub n or x complex of n. Let's suppose we will try to fetch the inverse discrete Fourier transform of x complex of n. So, we can write this particular term is equals to We'll keep this summation term as it is along with the input signal as x sub n. Now we'll take IDFT of x complex sub n. That formula we have 1 upon n. This is summation now with respect to k 0 to n minus 1. And this term I can write now x complex of k into e raised to minus j 2 pi k n divided by n. Now Maybe you will ask me the question, sir, in IDFT we have e raised to plus j. Yes, it is there, but we are taking what? Complex. So, minus j becomes plus j. We have reduced one step. Now, just to rearrange the terms, uh, here, I will take k summation term first. So, this becomes k 0 to n minus 1 along with 1 by n into x complex of k as it is. Now, remaining term, we have this summation which we can take as n0 to n minus 1 x sub n into e raised to minus j 2 pi k n by n. Now just observe this particular term. This is nothing but our Fourier transform or discrete Fourier transform. So this term holds 1 by n. This is summation 0 to n minus 1 x complex of k into x sub k. So again that term comes when I, when I multiply x sub k with x complex sub k it results and we can get the results as 1 upon n this is summation and this becomes mod x sub k square and that will be our Parseval's theorem for discrete Fourier time. Thank you very much.